Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a quick look at soft proofing in Lightroom Classic. Soft proofing enables us to preview on screen how a photo will appear on a specific device so that we can make any necessary adjustments to the image. For soft proofing to work, it's essential that your monitor is calibrated, so be sure to do that first. Then in the develop module, I'll click to enable soft proofing, or I can just tap the S key. Then I'll create a proof copy. A proof copy is essentially a virtual copy. It's a second virtual instance of the image that we can apply a different set of adjustments to so that we aren't changing the master file. To compare the master image and the proof preview, I'll tap the Y key and then I'll set the before to master photo. In the soft proofing panel, I'm going to choose the profile for my printer and media type and I will enable the simulate paper and in ink in order to emulate the dynamic range of ink on paper. Now comparing the images, we can see that there have been both color and tonal shifts in the proof preview, especially in the bluish color of the flower. If I want to see the difference full screen, I can tap Y and then use the backslash key in order to toggle between the master and the proof. All right, I'll tap Y again. Lightroom offers two different rendering intents, or ways of shifting colors that are out of gamut into gamut. Currently, Perceptual is selected, but I'll choose Relative, and we get a very different result, which I personally prefer for this image. And now we can make any additional adjustments to make the proof preview look more like the original image. I'll just increase the exposure a little, also increase the contrast, and decrease the blacks. When finished, I can move to the print module and print my photograph.